The Morag Tong is an age-old federation of assassins stationed in Morrowind, performing homicide in the name of Mafala. Morag Tong transliterates to Forester's Guild in Dunmaris. They have been operating since at least the First Era, and their victims have included numerous monarchs of Tamriel, high-ranking Dunmar upper class, and innumerable others. The Morag Tong is exclusive in its warranted position under the Morrowind governmental administration to carry out juridical killings, circumscribed under commissions known as writs, although illicit grey writs are reported to occur. Intriguingly, in order to reconcile with imperial code, detailing to guilds and fraternal organizations all valid credentials, including writs, alluding to the Morag Tong must utilize the label Morag Tong Guild to express the lawful prominence of the society. As a method of clearing up contentions of such appalling qualities among Chimer organizations that no alternative procedure was applicable, the Chimer were to propose the Morag Tong and grant payment for an honorable execution. Due to its administrative authority, the Morag Tong has the jurisdiction to carry out writs of execution, which exempt the guild representative of all constitutional distrust correlated with any Morag Tong-linked assessment. These writs are to be displayed to any arresting guard or officer, and directly and effectively exonerate the assassin for the homicide. As such, Morag Tong murderers are required to turn themselves in promptly following a murder, even if the death itself would have remained in secrecy, in order to lawfully pardon themselves and deter any potential incessant bifurcations. Members who miscarry that vital step are distrusted by their organization and may be accountable to considerable private investigations as the Morag Tong does not accommodate fugitives. It should also be observed that other misconduct performed in the conclusion of a mission are not pardoned by a writ, for instance burglary or additional murders. The origins of the Morag Tong are veiled in legend. The faith of the tribunal hold that the Dajic Prince Mafala erected the order to advise the ancient Chimer how to shield themselves and eliminate their enemies. In Dunmary folklore, she coaches the ancient Chimer migrants who were departing from the Somerset Isles how to elude their enemies and dismantle them with sedition and covert machinations of killing. Mafala's sphere of influence upon Morrowind includes schemes and lies. A minority of Chimer went on to comply to these fundamentals, and thus the Morag Tong was created. Alternate myths tell it began as a religious sect, while also worshipped Mafala, eventually worshipped the Dread Father, Sithis, above all. However it initiated, the Federation swiftly elevated to eminence in the setting of Primeval Morwen's violent house wars, promptly building the rich structure and a notoriety as unrivaled murderers. At the cusp of the First Era, the Morag Tong accepted its highest profile target yet, on Emperor Riemann III. Their triumph shaped the path for the Akaviri potentate to lead Tamriel in the initial years of the Second Era, as the Morag Tong gradually broadened its existence across Tamriel. It became a circuit when in the Second Era 324, Versidu Shaye, the potentate who had primarily arranged Riemann III to be assassinated, was killed himself by the Morag Tong. By this moment, however, the Morag Tong was arrogant and contemptuous, and Morag Tong was inscribed on the palace walls in the potentate's own blood. This high-profile homicide ignited a panic among the aristocrats of Tamriel, who understood that they too were at danger from the Morag Tong. Every sovereign gave the cult's elimination his highest priority, and it was maliciously abolished in every province of the Empire, only holding the merest existence in its motherland of Morrowind. Following this, the Morag Tong disappeared from public audience for nearly a hundred years. It is within this age that most acknowledge the Dark Brotherhood emerged as a splinter organization, stabilizing itself chiefly outside of Morrowind as a more occupational group performing exclusively above legislation. Although the Morag Tong is broadly confined to movement within the Morrowind province, since no other imperial powers observe them as a legitimate division, this does not mean that escaping Morrowind will safeguard a contract. Morag Tong members have been understood to trail their victims all across Tamriel, thanks in part to a far-reaching web of sources and connections upheld by the guild. For instance, in the Third Era 433, the champion of Cyrodiil possibly encountered a Morag Tong assassin who had been abducted while tracking a victim in Cyrodiil. However, the Dark Brotherhood has a syndicate on illicit assassination outside of Morrowind, and Dark Brotherhood members have been understood to capture Morag Tong agents wherever they discover them. 
While the Dark Brotherhood rose to higher reputation elsewhere, the Morag Tong cultivated a menacing existence in Morrowind, being committed entirely to Mephala and having deserted any affiliation with Sithis. Indeed, they are mortal adversaries of their old splinter group, the Dark Brotherhood, who maintain the devotion to Sithis. Their matron became the Night Mother, an elderly woman alleged to be gravely attached to their dreadfather, Sithis. Their killings were no longer driven by benevolence. They were not even galvanized by coin. They often captured sacrificial innocents, whose souls supplied as offerings in daedric and necromantic rituals. The Morag Tong kept its long-established initial seat of the First Era, that of a neutral mediator in the clashes among the Great Houses in the grisly affairs of Dunmary Legislature. Some within the guild, however, feel that their employment is belittled as wealthy aristocrats with trivial hardships use the Morag Tong too willingly, not regarding the age-old establishment. However, they don't meddle in governments greater than that of interhouse conflicts, nor do they supposedly execute on their own record, save against the Dark Brotherhood or followers of Merun's Dagon. Indeed, occasionally they have been employed to stalk and murder bandits, as a substitute to the more common Fighters Guild bonus. After the Argonian aggression and annihilation of Vardenfell, it was said by a previous Morag Tong affiliate who enlisted with the Thieves Guild that the Morag Tong dissolved and pledged to ascend again one day. Even though the ruined factions within Vardenfell are gone, the Morag Tong remains to hold an existence on the mainland of Morrowind, and even accepts engagements on Solstheim. Conclusively, the Morag Tong vows itself to the employment of Mafala, the Dajic Prince of Deceit, Betrayal, and Homicide. In Morrowind, the Federation is governed by a Grandmaster, who consistently serves for life until executed in the line of duty. Each guild hall is operated by a Master, who has an excessive degree of independence with respects to acknowledging writs and delivering commissions. Lone members, however, cannot take on writs without the confirmation of the Morag Tong, or else they confront discipline. The Morag Tong occupies an important aspect in Dunmary government by averting all-out war amidst the Great Houses. Rather, they pursue Mephala's encouragement to kill them with secret murder, by engaging Morag Tong murderers in conducted strikes to achieve governmental objectives. To aid this, the Morag Tong uphold a stern guideline of neutrality, acquiring any operation, provided it is introduced in the appropriate method and with the appropriate reimbursement. The most distinguished assassins who are unable to maintain their work are shipped to Vonora, an island which is not more than a month's passage by sailing from Telerun.